Hello everybody, my name is Parak, and in today's video I felt like playing some Spinning Axe Charge Blade. So this is my build, it's still just my Blast Spinning Axe set, I haven't made one dedicated to Element yet, as I kind of want to keep this for if I want to fight something without swapping between five different elements. We've got the Attack Boost 3 Guard 2 with 2-2 two, two slot and a 1. And here are all these skills and decorations, of course, all the green numbers are from decorations if you want to copy it yourself. And I think for today's video we're going to get another event quest off the list, being the wild growth quest, and see what it gives. While the game is loading, please consider subscribing, over 76% of you are not. Alright, let's go. Hopefully Basarios is one of the first ones in here. Oh, they're all just here, okay, cool. Because I want to get him out of the way first, as he's probably going to give me the most grief out of the lot. Not necessarily because he's difficult, but because he's annoying. So we're going to go do that. He starts with two roars off the bat, I think. And I don't think I have counter pick performance on here, so we'll have to deal with that manually. But that's okay. Yep, there it is. There's one roar. We'll try to get some vials here quickly. So we can, uh... Alright, I don't need to get to red. Too much world. We just need to get to yellow in this game. Let's charge up the shield. Hopefully Spinning Axe doesn't bounce off him at all, but wouldn't surprise me if it does. I also wanted to use a shield for this quest, because blocking uh, his attacks here will be very nice. Block that. Okay, let's go into Spinning Axe there. Nice. Let's get some air dash spam going, so we can heal her up from this Bloodlust build up. Okay, this is going to suck. Let's launch over here. Ready stance that. Okay, I should have gone straight into Axe because we could have, but that's okay. Get the spin off. We go through it because we've got Defiance, of course. Okay, nice. Get that damage rolling. Oh, we staggered him. Nice. Get another upswing. I should take him to another monster, to be honest, but I don't really want to deal with that. And he shouldn't take too long. It is a regular monster, after all. But we'll see how it goes. Get that Powder Mantle off first. He should only do one because he's not, uh, like, walking. If he's... Oh, like this. If he's actually walking and moving and stuff, he'll do three of them. Like that. Let's get back into Spinning Axe. And go straight into an Air Dash. Just classical stuff. That's asleep. Oh, glad I've got Evade Extender too. It definitely helps out with mobility. Uh, I'm going to launch that way. Shouldn't reach me. Nice, okay. I was ready to Ready Stance again, just in case. Let's Impact so we get away with the Vile. But of course, we could also try to get a knockdown with the impact vials, if we wanted to do that. We could definitely do that. Nice, we staggered him. Okay, do some more air dash. This, uh, I'm just going to ready stance. This only hits once, so you can actually just sit around him like that when he actually hits you. Get that powder mantle. Nice. Most annoying one down, we take those. Yeah, I guess we'll just go in an order of annoyances, so Baroth is the next one. Alrighty, let's go Baroth. Is that a small Baroth? I think that's, like, mediocre by the looks. Somewhat, at least. Let's blind him so we can go straight into our shield charge and then straight into Axe, so we can get that damage rolling, of course. I'm able to keep up with him if he goes too far because we got to Evade Extender, so it's pretty easy to keep up with any kind of, like, running away and whatnot. Defiance through it. That doesn't matter. We generally want to aim for like the arms here, not so much the face, because his uh, face is armored, of course. Let's get some ready stance spam here. We should go out of the blind very shortly. We're just going to hyper armor through this with air dash, but of course, dodge that one. What's he doing here? Tail. Okay, we we'll take that. I wanted to get down to the ground a bit earlier, but there, but that's okay. Ready stance that into an axe, into an air dash. Very nice. Let's vial away, just to keep with him. Air dash through this with hyper armor, but it didn't matter because he got staggered into an ED2. Into air dash. Okay, nice. It kind of feels like a, a high rank quest. They don't have too much health, but I guess it's because it's multi-monster, right? And we're using a... It, it's a solid build, but obviously discharges are way stronger in this game. I just enjoy spinning axe. It's very, very fun. Thinking about it now, I could also make this set quite a bit stronger, because we got the buff from Blood Awakening, I could use that with this build, and we should be able to get plenty of part breaks to do so, so much damage with it. I'm going to wait a second, get my axe ready, and then we're going to hit him in ready stance into axe, 
Just so- Ah, oh, I don't have enough guard. Unfortunate. I was hoping to just start with Axe, basically, without getting interrupted. Let's go on over there. This is why we have Evade Extended 2. We can easily, easily keep up with him to find through this. Lovely stuff. So I don't get knocked out of the air. Heaven Sent is on. Oh, right, I've got Heaven Sent on here. That's why I couldn't use Blood Awakening. Because I thought it came out at the same time, but I couldn't quite remember. Yeah, Heaven Sent is why we don't have Blood Awakening and won't have it on here. Ready Stance block into the Axe, of course. ED1 to get over to him into a Air Dash to Hyper Armor. Okay, we want to charge up our... Oh, Ready Stance. Want to charge up our Shield, so we do more Axe damage. Once again, go back into it. Oh my god, that didn't hit me. I got so lucky, actually. We take that any day. Okay, get some more damage. How did that hit me? Jeez. Odd hit zone, for sure. Let's do some ready stance shenanigans for big damage. Maybe get a stun off it too, because we have impact vials on the swings here. Roll through it. Ah, I didn't quite get it. That's okay. Ooh, Kittenator. We like that. We broke a horn, so we get big damage time. Oh, that's unfortunate. ED1 to get to him, and ED2. We have some vials, and we should be able to build up quite a bit, because it's spinning axe, of course. And he is weak. Okay. There's our stun from using impact vials. We love to see it. Very nice. It was a fun little five-minute event quest. I'm curious to see what it gives. I believe it's, like, poses, maybe, or gestures or something. Hopefully they're pretty cool. As we do always like to see some more gestures and poses. Always nice to have. Uh, yeah, so we didn't get any material to make things, so I'm guessing it is a gesture. Yeah, there we go. Checking the ground, Eureka, and ready. Oh, so we got three gestures. Nice. Let's go check these out. Okay, let's see here. So we got new gestures, I believe it was. So let's pull up the... Oh my god. Uh, that one? Yeah, there we go. R1, we got re ready? Oh, chugging a potion. Okay. Flexing. Nice. Eating some steak. And what do we do? Oh, just... <laughs> cool. I think that's um, the same kind of animations that you would have in previous games, right? And obviously the two Palicos are just cheering you on. They just sit. Uh, thinking, thinking. Okay. Oh my god. The, the two at the back are so cute. Okay, and we had checking the ground as well. Let's see here. Okay, yeah, yeah, checking the ground, looking at the dirt, playing around with the saplings and stuff. And the other two are checking as well, that's so cute. Okay, you can't find anything. Looking very hard. Ibuki's going ham, scratching the ground, looking for stuff. Okay, yeah, that's it. Very nice. Well, everybody, that was the event quest Wild Growth with some Spinning Axe gameplay. I love Spinning Axe so much. Air Dash and Ready Stance make it feel so, so good and so crispy. And we got some pretty cool gestures out of that. I'd say that's definitely worth it if you're one that likes gestures and poses and stuff. It's very, very good. As always, though, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.